Okay, so today's Bible event comes from the book of Genesis, verses 1, chapters 28 through 30. Before we jump to that, though, I want to review what we learned the last couple weeks because we talked about God's creation. So in case you missed that, let's review that real quick because our take-home point is about taking care of God's earth. So let's learn about what God created. So in the first book of the Bible, Genesis, in the very first chapter, it talks about how God created the earth. And it tells us that God made everything. He made everything with only his word. He said, let there be light, and there was light. He said, let there be water, and there was water. He said, let there be clouds and land, and there were clouds and land. He said, let there be flowers, trees, and all kinds of living plants. And there were flowers, trees, and all kinds of living plants. Then he said, let there be fish, birds, and all kinds of animals. And it was so, by only his word, God created everything. Well, everything except man. Because at this point, there still were no people on earth. So God looked at everything he created and he said, who remembers what they said, what he said? Do you remember? He said, it is good. It is good. But he wasn't done creating. Remember, there's still no people. So God formed man in a special way. He took the dirt from the ground and formed it into the shape of a man and breathed life into him. And the first man's name was, do you remember? That's right, it was Adam. All right, but he still wasn't done creating. He hadn't made women yet. So he put the man to sleep and he took a rib from Adam. And with that rib, he formed the first woman. And her name was? Eve, that's right. So now, he, God put both Adam and Eve in a beautiful garden. And the garden was filled with all of God's creations, the animals and the plants. And they were all different shapes and sizes. And God was done with his creation. And he looked at it and he said, it is good. It is very, very good. So God was done with his work. But man was not. God gave man some work to do. And that is where we're going to pick up on our Bible event. So the work that God has given man to do. We are man. We are the men and women that God has tasked us with taking care of this earth that he's given us. So God told Adam and Eve to take care of his creation. And one of the ways that Adam took care of the garden was by naming all the animals. And so he would see, he saw this beautiful creature with wings and it was flying. And what do you think he named it? What do we call it? A beautiful flying creature with colorful wings. Lindsay thinks she knows. You want to pop in and say? Sure. What do you think? Um, birds? Beautiful colorful wings. Hmm. It's an insect. I'll give you another clue. <gasps> oh, I know it. What? Butterflies. A butterfly. Yeah, so he named the butterfly butterflies. And what about these swimmers that wiggled around in the water? What do you think he named those? Lindsay? Um, fish? Fish, that's right. And what about an animal that hops with a pouch? What's that called? A kangaroo. She's got it. It was a kangaroo. So, just like Adam named all of the creatures, we're going to... Oh, uh, Lindsay, I need you back here. We're going to have you guys uh, do a little activity real quick. So, in this mystery bag here, mystery bag. we have all sorts of animals. Lindsay's going to give you a clue to what animal it is, and then you guys have to try to guess. Okay. See how many you can get right. So, Lindsay? Am I going to, like, act yeah. it? No, you can You can make an animal sound, or you can describe the re These are stuffed animals, so don't describe the stuffed animal, but describe what this real animal might be like. So, for example, this animal is very furry. It lives in the wilderness. 
It likes to eat fish and nuts and berries. And so, and it growls when it's angry. It might even you might even see it if you're camping. What do you think it is? I know. Lindsay, what is it? A bear. It's a bear. Okay, so Lindsay's gonna give you a clue to the next one and see if you guys can guess it. Just like Adam named the animals, you guys are gonna try to name the animals. All right, Lindsay's got. Oh, if you pay attention, it's her favorite animal. <laughs> All right, go ahead, give him a clue. Some of you guys may know this. I don't know if you guys will know this. All right, give him the clue. Okay. <laughs> um, they're green. And they hop. Green and hop. And they <laughs> eat bugs. Yes. Sometimes they're different colors, too. And they can be poisonous. And they can have red eyes. Oh, so many clues. What did you? I hope you guys guessed it right, Lindsay. What is it? A frog. It's a frog. It's a little desert frog. Oh my gosh! All right, next one. I'll do the next one. Okay. All right, this one. We often like to think of this one as being pink. Um, but we often see not. them on the farm. Uh, God gave us this creature to help feed the people. This one helps to feed lots of people. Um. They're very, very messy. They'll eat almost anything, but they aren't just pink. They can be brown and white and spotted and all. And it goes. <coughs> Did you guess it? I bet my my sound clue gave it away. It's a pig. It's a pig. And they're muddy. That's what I said. I heard. Yes, they are, they are muddy. All right, Lindsay, pick one. Mm. We have so many in here. <laughs> Okay, this one might be a little bit harder for you guys. All right. This one is a hard one. All right, give them some clues. Um, they're brown. Brown. They have antlers. Yes, antlers. Um, they eat hay grass. and grass, those sorts of things. It walks on four feet. Mm-hmm. Likes to live, can live in places that are cold. Yes, cold. So, yeah, that that's... Mm -hmm. Okay, and it is? Ooh, if you got this one, you're really good. It's a... Reindeer. A reindeer. All right, my turn, my turn, my turn. Ooh, I've got this one. Oh. Mm. All right, this one... I think if Adam saw this one, he would be a kind little bit scared. scared. It has lots of teeth. Yes, and it, kind of scary. And it, it lives in water. It swims in the water. Um, it can eat smaller fish. And I pretty much think, and it has a fin on the top. Yes. It's, it has what's called a dorsal fin. Did you guess and it? And it's gray. But they're not all gray. Well, most of them. This are particular gray. one is gray, but they're not all gray. <laughs> hey, did you guess? It's a shark. It's a shark. All right, Lindsay. Last one. Pick one more. Last one. Yeah, I, God created so many animals. We'd be here all day trying to guess them all. Well, can we hurry up and do them all? Well, just pick your next favorite one. Which one do you think? We already did something like that. Like something different. Um. So many choices. We still have like two, four, six left in the bag, but I'm making her pick one. This one. Okay, she's got it. I had to give her a clue. What? Not to give you a, a specific clue because it will give it away. Hold on. Okay. Okay, she's got it. Alright, go ahead. Um, it has two tall ears. Um, it hops. It hops. If you haven't guessed it yet, she's going to give you one more clue. <laughs> tall ears and it hops. They're and it does not, and brown. does not eat carrots, by the way. I learned that. They do not eat carrots. I thought they did, but they don't. She's shocked at that news, too. All right. Then, what do you think? They can be brown. They can be white. They can have spots. And they're fluffy and cute. Okay, ready? All right. Final answer. What's your guess? Go, Lindsay. It's a bunny. 
Wait, they don't eat carrots? They don't eat carrots! Rabbits eat carrots. Your friend that um, has a pet bunny, I asked her, because we have so many extra carrots, and we didn't want them to go away, so I asked her if they would like our carrots for their bunny, and she said they don't eat carrots. So, you learn something new all the time. So Wait, they don't eat carrots? So That's what I've known all my life! So, Adam helped take care of the animals. <gasps> by should, we, should we show them the, the ones that we haven't? Sure, quickly. By taking care of the animals and naming them, we have a, a duck. duck. From a one puppy. of my favorite books. A puppy. A puppy. An I'm elephant. Sorry, I didn't like this puppy. Ah! Should we hear that? Next. A fish. A fish. And finally. Ah! A lizard. A lizard. Alright. All this stuff is in my way. Ah. Hey, give me that one. Okay. So, God had Adam name all of the animals, and that's how Adam helped take care of the animals. Adam also probably took care of the plants in the garden. The Bible doesn't exactly tell us exactly what Adam and Eve did to take care of the plants and animals in the garden, but maybe they watered the plants, you know, make, took water from the streams and, and brought them over to the plants so that they could grow and stay alive. And it fed the animals. So God had given them this wonderful gift to enjoy. And they showed God they were thankful by taking care of that gift and that creation. And God has also given us, us the gift of creation. He tells us to take care of his gift. And so we're going to show you how you as a kid can take care of God's creation. But we're going to not do that in this room. So Lindsay has some examples for you on how you can take care of God's creation. Go ahead. We can take care of God's earth by watering plants. We can take care of God's earth by feeding animals. They're very hungry. Do you remember which one's Fluffy? Do you guys remember Fluffy? Fluffy was so little, now she's all big. Oh my, I can't find Fluffy. They're, they're, they've completely changed. Maybe this one's Fluffy. You want to pick one up and show them? Yeah. I'll try. They're very hungry. Dudes, well, they'll be distracted while I take them off. Okay. Can't pick that one up. Hello, Fernando. How are you doing today? Fernando likes getting picked up. Who's Fernando? Okay, it wants to get down. Now let's <laughs> We can take care of God's earth by recycling. We can take care of God's earth by smelling flowers, not picking them. It smells very good. Well, boys and girls, I hope that you liked seeing all of those different things that Lindsay showed you and you know, for some of you, you got to see an update on our little fluffy chick. Because remember, like, a couple months ago, our chick fluffy was, like, this big. And now she's, like, this big. All of the chickens are that big. So, God wants us to take care of his creation. And we do those things every day. We have to water our plants every day. We have to take care of our chickens every day. I have to take care of Lindsay and Lance and make sure they get fed um, every day. Because they're God's creation, too. And they need to be taken care of as well. So, God gave us this gift of the earth, and so we need to take care of it. And he also gave us another gift, and that gift was Jesus. Jesus died for our sins, and God loves us so much that he gives us these gifts, and we love him back and show him our love by taking care of those gifts. So, we're going to give you one craft idea that you guys can make. You might not be able to make it today, um, but you can watch us make it, and then your parents might have to go to the store and, and pick something up because we're going to make a bird feeder, and we want to make sure that we're feeding birds things that they are supposed to eat. So we need to go um, and get some bird seed, and you guys may need to go and get some bird seed as well. Because we want to make sure that we're feeding birds what they're supposed to eat. We don't want to just give them our food because that's not for them. So we're going to make a bird feeder. And you can do that with um, a toilet paper roll, a popsicle stick. You can pretty much use anything that you can 
stick some peanut butter on and stick it in bird seed. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a little bird feeder. So stay tuned. We're going to watch. We're yes, going to make and that. And, yes. and also we did put this in a, a base. We do have it in some water. Okay. So craft time coming up. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're ready to make our craft. So what we have is some peanut butter. Peanut butter. If you <laughs> don't have peanut butter or you're allergic to peanut butter, you can use sun butter or... Um, jelly? I think there's like almond butter and things like that that you can <laughs> Probably use. Probably Well, maybe not almond butter. I don't know. Um, but you can use something else that's kind of sticky uh, to make oh, your bird feeder with. bird seed smells good. <laughs> you, you can use a... Toilet paper roll, or where did those go? Or you can use a craft stick uh, to make your bird feeder today. So if you have one of those two things, you can do that. We're probably going to use the toilet paper roll. Uh, we're going to use a paper plate to help control the mess. Mm -hmm. It's not part of the craft, but we're using that just to control the mess. Mm -hmm. And then something to spread your peanut butter with. So we have these plastic knives, knives here. That are from school. They are. I think they're from your school. I don't know. I save them for my lunches if I don't use them rather than wasting them. Yes. Because I can use them some other time. God so, doesn't want us to waste. Correct. So we're going to start by putting some bird seed on the plate. Like I said, we had to go buy Ooh. some bird seed. It's got, some, got some good stuff in there, it looks like. Oh my gosh, I just want to eat it. Like, Ew. literally. It's oh, so fun to play with. You like, see. just um, fun toy to play with. Well, it is very sensory-like if you like that sort of thing. Okay, so to get started, what is sensory? Mean? We are going to not dip our, well, we can. We're going to get some peanut butter on our knives. Oh, can I? I don't know. These little flimsy knives are a little bit hard. And we're going to, oh, wait, 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 time out, time out. Don't put the peanut butter on there yet. First, we have to cut <laughs> the holes. So we're going to cut a hole so we can add a string to this later. So we're going to put one two holes right across from each other with a hole puncher. Um, if you don't have a hole puncher, you could probably have a parent. She's licking the knife. <laughs> don't lick the knife, please. Uh, just poke a hole in that top of that for you. So you have two holes opposite each other, so you can put a string through there and then hang it up. All right, are you done eating your craft? <laughs> yeah. Okay, will you punch holes in your toilet paper roll, please? Yes. There's a little bit of toilet paper still on your roll. <laughs> On there real good. So opposite, right yep, opposite sides, a little close to the top. Oh gosh, want to see how I did that? Okay, she got one, and she did the other side, opposite. Just like um that other the, crap we did. Yeah, it was the windsock thing, right? Yes. They blow the wind. Ours is still hanging outside. <laughs> Surprisingly, we thought the rain would would have like just. Oh, I have peanut butter on my nail. Oh, imagine that. All right, so you gotta get a big. Glob of peanut butter. Yummy. Uh, try. try not to cover up the holes that you punched. And you're going to spread it on your toilet paper roll. You want me to help you get a big glob? Okay, let's start with that. I might have some extra here. Am I making funny faces? I think I'm involuntarily making funny faces as I spread this. Involuntarily? Yes, which means I'm not controlling myself doing it. It's just happening. Did we have a talk like this in the car? We did. Okay. I'm almost... <laughs> that was quite pleasant, Lindsay. It's lopsided. All right, I got my peanut butter on there. Uh, uh, Mom, this is quite... First um... you take the peanuts and you spread them. <laughs> you spread them. That was a song. I used to sing when I was little. So peanut, peanut I butter, over. and jelly. All right, I have my peanut butter spread all over. Lindsay, I have some extra peanut butter here if you'd like it. Do you need some? Are you watching her? She's over here making a mess, and I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> all right, it does help if you put your fingers inside of the hole. Let's spread it. Can you spread this, please? What happened? Can I wash my hands? You know, just <laughs> keep blowing. I don't Spread. know how to use do Use your knife. I'll use my fingers since they're already messy. Okay. Well, Lindsay's finger painting the peanut butter on there. I will get her more peanut butter to spread. <laughs> if, if that's easier for you, by all means, do that. Just don't stick your fingers in the peanut butter jar. Yeah, don't do that. That's... No. 
You need more, you think? I, I haven't it? spread everything. Yet. Ooh, she's really getting into it. Hey, I'm, I'm trying, okay? We don't want the birds to eat the extra toilet paper on there. Let me give you a little more here. You want to show them your hands? Yum. Ew, Lindsay, don't. Who is it going to do that? I was just kidding. Okay. Ew, keep, Lindsay, don't. Keep spreading a little bit more and we're almost done. Alright, I'm not giving her any more peanut butter. She has enough. <laughs> they can't see you. Sorry. Normally I'm used to standing up on camera. Okay. I'm just going to set this down. <laughs> All right, we're almost done. We're almost on the last step. Are you almost there? Really? We just started. I know. It's an easy craft. Oh, I was going to say it's hard. Beautiful. Well, maybe if you finger paint it on, it's a little difficult. Okay. Well, I'm not touching that. You hold on to that for one second. <laughs> then, once you have your peanut butter spread on there, it's nice and sticky, you're just going to roll it in your bird food. So, in your bird seed, and it will stick... To the peanut butter. You could try to sprinkle the bird seed on there, but I think this works a little bit better. Mm -hmm. It's missing some spots, so we'll just pick it up and pat it on there. So you don't see any more peanut butter. And then the birds, you can hang it up outside after you put your string on it from a tree or maybe from your porch. And the birds will come fly by and pick the seeds off of it. If you have a bird house that you've made, then you can have a bird feeder right outside the house for them. Okay, mine is all done. I have the bird seed all over my toilet paper tube. And my holes are still open so I can put a string right through those and hang it up outside for the birdies taking care of God's creatures. All right, Lindsay, you ready to roll yours? Yeah. Was she eating the whole time? <laughs> yes, I was eating the whole time. Yum. All right, roll it up. Hope the birds are okay with my spit. If you were doing the stick, you could do the same thing. You could put the, um, you could tie a string around the top of this and then put peanut butter on it and dip it in the, uh, bird food as well. So you see those spots where you're missing? Just take a couple little sprinkles and pat it on there. Okay, stop moving it so fast. Nope. Go back over this way. There's a spot. There you go. All right. Pat, pat, pat. Roll it over a little more. I can't sprinkle. Yes, because there's st <laughs> the seed is sticking to Lindsay's fingers because she's Look. got peanut butter all over them. Uh, she better not walk outside. The birdies might come and eat the seed right off her Ew, fingers. Ew, that is disgusting. Okay. I wonder if the chickens like this kind of bird seed. We should try to feed it to them. I don't know if it's good for them, though. We have to look that up and see. All right. So Lindsay's is all set, too. So right. we can go and hang those up. I'm going to lick my fingers. No, she cannot lick her fingers. Feed the, <sighs> feed the birds and take care of God's creatures. We hope you guys get to make those. And I'm going to wash my hands. Yes, in a second. Uh, we hope you guys get to make one of these. I know you may not have bird seed at home. We were able to buy this Unless you have a bird. giant bag of bird seed for, I think it was like $3.22 or something like that. So plenty of bird seed. You can make lots of bird feeders for the birds. And maybe even the squirrels might even come and eat them because I know that sometimes some squirrels like to eat bird seed. So we love you guys. And... What are we going to do next? Oh, we have to pray. So, we're going to clean up this mess, and we'll be right back. All right, boys and girls, I hope that you get a chance to make that pretty cool bird feeder. Um, we're going to hang ours up outside and hope that the birds get to eat it so that we can take care of God's creation, the animals. I, I love watching the birds peck around in our front yard. I love when I get to see them fly away carrying a worm. All right, God made a natural mm -hmm. way for all of the animals to take care of each other. And it's pretty amazing if you watch outside and you watch the animals and you study them. It's pretty cool. Um, but it's always nice to help take care of them as well. So that's why we made a little bird feeder. And we're going to continue to water our grass and water our plants. It was so really fun to make that bird feeder. So they grow, right? 
So we only have yes. two things left. What are those two things we have to do, Lindsay? Pray and... The take-home point? The take-home point. So, I'm going to practice the take-home point. I'm going to say my part, and you guys say your part. Okay, I'm going to whisper to Lindsay what the take-home point is so she doesn't mess it up this week, okay? So she can remember, okay? Okay. Okay, she's got it. So hopefully you guys remember it or you can read it on the screen. Are you ready? Take-home point for this week. God gave us everything on earth, and you guys say? We take care of God's earth. She got it! I hope you guys got it too. So we're going to wrap up by saying our prayer. And guess what special surprise for you? What's the special surprise, Lindsay? She forgot. She's going to say the prayer for us. She's going to end us in prayer today. Oh. <laughs> she didn't see that as a surprise, I guess. Yeah. Are you ready? So prayer hands, prayer heads, prayer hearts. Okay, ready? We are ready. Go ahead. Okay. Dear God. We love you. Thank you for our earth. We will take care of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Very good. Well, guys, guess what? VBS is coming up. It's next week. Next week? VBS is coming up I'm next week. I'm going to be ready for this. I think, yeah. It's coming up. Tuesday's our kickoff. So if you're in the Omaha area and you registered online so that we can make materials for you, make sure you come up to Calvary Lighthouse Church to pick up your materials. We have a fun little kickoff plan for you guys. And then we will see you online. Yeah! Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, July 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. The kickoff is July 21st. Okay. Hope to see you guys then. Bye. Bye. Mwah. Mwah. Instead of bringing your kids to VBS, let's bring VBS to your kids. But we're not finished yet. Help kids understand what it means to listen to, focus on, and follow Jesus. A stands for adult. Bible stories. They were afraid that they were about to become fish food. Games. Do you understand the rules? Yes, ma'am. Origami crafts. Now the first half of the flower complete. Powerful teaching. Proverbs 3 5. Great music. I'm a, I'm a wave walker.